polished ice sheet where you have Carpathian and Tatra mountains and we find several glacial landforms out there. Then you have Scandinavian ice sheet out here and then Siberian ice sheet. So this was the extent if you observe almost till half or more than half of Europe was covered by ice sheet which started to melt and then what happened was the flooding nearby and then water came inside. So many seas, many gulf areas you observe here. So to look into that, let's observe another thing. What is it? Europe's water bodies. So if you carefully observe Europe's water bodies, they have an imprint of the last ice glacial age, right? So glacial maximum and then the retreat and then the water intrusion inside the land. So leads to a lot of gulf formation. So if you observe from north, Barents Sea is here. Then you have the White Sea, this gulf area. Then you have Gulf of Bothnia out here, Gulf of Finland out here, Gulf of Riga out here. Then this is the Baltic Sea, right? Then you have the Kattegat Bay. Then you have the Gulf here, Skagark. Then you have North Sea out here. Right here you have St 